Makeup world. So today I'm going to go through some metallic liquid lipstick options for you guys. Um, I also have a dupe for the Kai Majesty liquid lipstick. Um, that's a drugstore, a little bit more of an alternative version to that. And then I'm going to go through some, some kind of DIY um, options if you can't get your hands on some of these really popular metallic liquid lipsticks. So uh, if you want to check that out, keep on watching. So let's just jump right into it. Um, obviously the biggest or the dupe that I have for you guys is the Kai Majesty. Um, I know that there were some issues and about the tubes and whatever and the color not being opaque. Um, but I have um, the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in gunmetal and it looks like this and it is identical but this one is extremely opaque so um, I'll insert a clip of me applying it and then that way you guys can kind of get an um, idea of the formula consistency opaqueness etc um, but all I did was just use a black lip liner I lied this is eyeliner but I mean if you don't feel comfortable using an eyeliner just um, use a lip liner no big deal um, and I also know Maybelline came out with black lipstick so if you want to just get the black lipstick and this on top that's perfectly fine too and this dries completely matte um, and it's drying but not like oh this is so uncomfortable um, I'll do the kiss test and let you guys see nothing there maybe just a little bit of the lip liner but um, it has a lot of like glitter and everything it's really pretty awesome. just how dark it is um, I'm not gonna lie this color is really outside my comfort zone but now that I put it on I'm really um, loving it so here is what it looks like um, you can really see it looks just like the photo all the pictures and photos um, I don't actually have the Kai Majesty so I can't swatch them back and forth but I'll insert a picture so that way you can see exactly what they look side by side use like a metallic eyeshadow stick. I have this one by Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Pixie. Um, I'll swatch this for you guys and I will just um, line my lips and then put this on top. Um, and that's this one here. And they, like again they dry matte and this is beige luster and this one's not quite as opaque as the other one. Like I said, I put a matte liquid lipstick on first, and then I will layer the two on top. That way, it gives me the um, opacity that I'm looking for, but that's that one here. Really pretty too, and it dries down matte, which is really nice. Um, so some other options that I have, I will show you. Um, the last kind of non-traditional is these... Um, the Maybelline color tattoo. Who are these colors? Oh, they are. Is this a... Oh. Um, but it's in the pot. So I have a gold one already, but I bought this color, which is barely branded, and it looks like this. And I bought this for the same reason to kind of, um, and I'll put that next to the other Maybelline color tattoo so you can see. This is probably going to be a little bit closer to the color that I was looking for. But, um, and again, it does dry matte, so you don't have to worry about that. Just, and that's this one here. So you can kind of see this one's more a little bit on the cool, cool side, and this one's just a little bit lighter. And those are them. Use like a metallic eyeshadow stick. I have this one by Wet n Wild, and this is in the shade Pixie. Um, I'll swatch this for you guys, and I will just um, line my lips and then put this on top. Um, 
and that's this one here and they, like again they dry matte and this is probably going to be a little bit easier to get off than the l'oreal infallible ones but i also found another dupe for the kinajesty um it is the i was in the store oh it's this one it's the 24-hour waterproof hydro fudge by Rimmel in shade 004 Guilty Gray. And I'll insert a picture of both to both next to each other. Um, it's a little bit less metallic, but if you're not comfortable putting this on your lips, it's a shadow stick like this one. Um, you can do both. It doesn't have as many as much glitter in it. But you'll still get the same effect or you can add some glitter on whichever you prefer um but i'd also like to give an honorable mention to these wipes my goodness these are the um wet and wild underneath the sheets hey um these puppies really worked and they got all these um lipsticks off i'm all right good for you wet and wild thank you so what's also a good option is once you put on that matte liquid lipstick you can just kind of pat some of these um, right into the center if you don't really want to commit to a full uh, metallic moment on your lips you can just kind of put a little bit of this puppy on there right in the center and you're good to go um, I'll show you guys just kind of how that works and this didn't even transfer on here at all so I'm just going to blend that in. Not to flip you off, sorry. And that's just putting a little bit in the center because you kind of see, well, I already have the metallic on, but it really, like they're really metallic and it dries down matte so you don't have to worry about it transferring or, um, or anything like that. So there's tons of other options if you can't get your hands on, like I mentioned before some of these really popular, um, I know NYX has a line of metallic uh, liquid lipsticks, but every time I check they're sold out. I know the Milani are sold out. I can't even find some of the colors on Amazon or eBay, and I'm sorry. I'm a certified cheapskate. I ain't paying $46 for something I knew was 10 bucks not that long ago. I was like, I'll wait. If it was, you know, um, a really good seller, they'll probably bring it back. So I'll keep using what I'm using. Um, let me know if you guys know of anything else that's a good dupe or that's affordable at the drugstore. That's an alternative to the usual uh, metallic liquid lipstick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.